everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to vlogmas day seven, I think we're on now. I have just finished up getting ready and for the first time in a long time, I've gone for a red lipstick. I very rarely wear red lipstick just because I find it so difficult to keep it on and like when you're eating and stuff, it's just problematic. But then I was watching Zoe's vlog and she had red lipstick on and she always pulls it off and it never looks like she has to reapply it. And I'm like, I don't know how this is happening, but I want to give it a try. So that is the makeup look I've gone for today. It's like a bronzy red. I've got like my natural hair. I was gonna straighten it, but I just like couldn't be bothered so yeah and then this is my outfit i feel like i accidentally look very zoella like that wasn't the plan the outfit just happened to then coincide with the makeup but oh well these things happen anyway i'm about to go into school in about 20 25 minutes i've just finished up getting ready i need to like pack my bag and then do a little bit of prep for an essay i've got first period well not first period but like my lesson as soon as I go in so yeah I'm also gonna go and open my advent calendars because I haven't done that in a vlog for a while so okay so it's time to do my advent calendars I have opened them the last few days I just haven't done it on camera so I'll show you what I've got for day four and five either later or in a different vlog but I'm gonna start with my next one so this is what day are we on are we on day seven already that's mad next line um I really can't work out if the color correlates to the lipstick or not like if it does this is gonna be purple yeah I think it maybe does Ooh, what is this <laughs> intense butter gloss wow I never wear colors like this maybe I should this is what I've got in there today it's like a really vibrant purple shade look it's really nice actually but I don't know when I'm gonna wear it but it's a gloss this time instead of a matte lipstick so that's that's nice. Okay, and then my next two are obviously my lint advent calendars. So these are just gonna be chocolates, but we don't know what shape chocolate they're gonna be. Day seven is here. I'm going for a square. I hope it's a square. You get more chocolate then. Oh, it's not, it's a ball. To be fair, I like the Lindor balls. And of course I've got two of this advent calendar because Tom got me the same one. It's great minds think alike. So yeah, two Lindor chocolate balls my hair has grown so much since i got it cut like when i got it cut and had it curly it was literally like shoulder length maybe i need a haircut oh no no i dropped the chocolate five second rule oh they've got like caramel inside Okay guys, just before I get on with today's actual footage, like I've just come home from school. I've actually just got back from the event you're about to watch, but I just wanted to let you guys know before I show that footage that I have actually just started working with this website called QT. Now, I think this is gonna be really beneficial for like everybody because um, it's basically a website where you guys can like reply to some questions that I'm gonna ask you and stuff um, so that I get a better insight to my audience and stuff. And it sounds kind of confusing, but you'll understand if you follow the link. But basically I've just put a question on my cutie for the first time and it's just because I kind of want to get to know like what you guys like and what you don't like what works with my channel what doesn't maybe work with my channel a little bit more um for like going into 2018 because then it means that you guys are always getting content that you love so I have just asked you guys over on cutie what your favorite kind of video is of mine and then there's like a poll and you guys can like vote and ask questions and I'll be replying to them all it sounds kind of similar to like what you can do on um, other social media sites but this just gives me a lot more insight so it'd really mean the world if some of you if you had a couple of minutes to head over to this website just to like reply to my questions so that I can start like gathering some feedback that would be really really helpful the website have been amazing helping me like set this all up so hopefully it's gonna work for like both of us and you guys will be getting more content that you like and more giveaways that you like and things like that so if you do have a minute to just answer that that would be fab I'm now going to get on with the rest of the vlog because it's a very exciting one. I'm about to go to an event. I haven't been to an event in a while. I've actually just got back, so I know that there's some decent footage coming up. So hopefully you're going to enjoy it and let's just get back on with the video. Okay, so we are now in Hall Station. I didn't even explain what was happening, but basically I've left school. Uh, it's now four o'clock just after. No, it's not four o'clock. It's five o'clock nearly. And I'm actually going to an event tonight at Debenhams in Hull. They're having like a press night slash VIP night or something and basically my cousin's I was gonna say boyfriend husband works there um so we are gonna go and like have a look and see what it's all about and like see what Debenhams are offering oh wow the Christmas tree looks nice look at the tree in Hull Station oh look not everything in here is gross um, so yeah I'm not too sure what it actually is I think it's like a discount night and they've got like offers on apparently Urban Decay is 20% off so yeah um but I'm quite excited. It should make for quite a nice vlog because I think it's going to be quite festive. Debenhams usually do quite good Christmas gifts slash Christmassy things. I'd know. I used to work there. So, um, yeah. Okay, so me and my mum are now on our way to Debenhams. My mum's here. She was just like, kind of want to be in your vlog. So there you go. 
There we are. We're outside St. Stephen's, whose Christmas lights always look really nice. Don't you think they look nice in there? Looks lovely. <laughs> Guys, these make such nice presents. It's literally like short breaks or different meals or different things you can do. And then you give it in a little box and then you get to pick where you go. I think this is such a perfect gift. If you were wanting to spend a little bit more on somebody, some of them are like 30 pounds, some of them are like 100 pounds. See, look, 2,000 experiences for 40 pounds, magic moment. I think that's so nice. Like, what? These are great. What is their website called? It's called Buy a Gift. Smart box, buy a gift. Okay, so we've just been doing some shopping. May or may not have picked up some bits for my Secret Santa because we're doing Secret Santa within my friendship group at school. And I found some like perfect gifts for the person that I have. And I'd actually been really struggling to find stuff. I'd been like looking online and I was like, don't want to buy something for the sake of it, but I think they're going to really like this. So yeah, also Debenhams have some amazing deals and also some amazing gift sets. Like don't overlook your local Debenhams for presents because they've probably got some decent stuff. So sorry about how loud it is. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me, but is that thing alive? Oh, he is live, yeah. This is the guy over there. Is he famous? He might have been on like Britain's Got Talent. A couple of people from Hull have got one that sometime. I can't get over how nice these gifts are. You like, oh, well, I can get over how nice that is. Not a fan. Um, but this is like, these are really good gifts. What the heck? I found this coat I really like, but I, I think it's a little bit too expensive. It's like 45 pounds. And I just don't really need a new coat right now. Slash, I also don't have that much money because Christmas, but it's really nice, so. Uh. So we're now looking at the clothing stuff as well. I never look at the clothes in Debenhams, but I didn't realize they had a quiz in this Debenhams. Like, I literally didn't know that. When I was looking for prom dresses, I remember looking in quiz a couple of times, but trailing to like the quiz in Leeds or the quiz, well, there is one in Hull, but it's really small. I didn't know there was one in here, but he'll learn something new. So I'm now shopping for Tom, and I don't mean literally shopping for him as in getting him a present. I mean, doing his Christmas shopping for him. So. So we've now started looking at shoes. <laughs> we could be a while. But I haven't got my mum anything for Christmas yet and I really am struggling. So I'd really like you to pick out a nice pair of shoes that you like and then I'll buy them. That would be a really nice idea because I don't know what you want. Yes you do, it's so difficult. I hate people that don't know what they want for Christmas because I just like to be told. That's not an answer. You can't get nothing on Christmas. Right, all right, then I'll go work, get you anything, and then how will you feel on Christmas when you get actually nothing? These throws look literally so soft. Oh, I love that chair. Oh, this is when it makes me wish I had a house. How nice would that be in like a hallway, if our hallway was big enough for a chair? Our hallway's huge. Yeah, it is, but like there's no way you could put that in it. There would be no point. Nobody would use it, and Harry would kick a football out. Oh, these are lovely, these little gift sets. That's so nice set of two porcelain mugs. Guys, look how nice these are. Even these, look, these bowls are so nice. These are so cute. I love that homeware. Very nice. I wish I had gold decor in my room, but I don't really have like a bit of copper, but Eiffel Tower as well. I love the Eiffel Tower. When I used to work in Debenhams, my walk from the back, like the locker room, to the cafe used to be past all the home stuff. And I used to just like walk really slowly so that I could avoid my shift and look at all of the nice home stuff and I, I always thought they had such underrated homeware stuff like people never talk about Debenhams home and they have like a really nice section. I also love lights, is that really strange? I just think looking at lights like are lights. so nice because they make a room don't they really like a nice light. I'm middle aged aren't I? Yeah. yeah. It's bad. It's bad. It is bad. I'm looking at stuff I'm like oh a light would make a room and I'm like I'm 18 I don't have a house so what am I looking at them for? I also love looking at baby clothes yeah, even though I don't boring. like babies that much. Sorry guys if you have a baby but like look how cute. This makes me want to like put a child in in this just to give it a little hug and then give it back to its real parent, not to me. Okay, I just saw the actual nicest onesie literally ever, but I just realized I don't need a onesie. I wouldn't even wear it. I've got nowhere to keep it, but it was so nice and I really want it. We're gonna go and pay now, I think. We're actually oh, it says this here, but calling it a night. It, we've been here for like, like an hour and a half nearly in Debenhams. Anyway, we found some quite good deals. I'm happy with my present from my secret Santa, like really happy. We've lost the till. We'll get back to you when we find the till. Oh, do you want some biscuits? No? Okay. We've come to get a McDonald's. Actual chaos in here, so uh, we're getting it to take out. 
Okay, so we're on the train. We got a McDonald's. We're being those people and eating it on the train, but it would just go cold if we waited until we got home. So like, there's literally no point. We were really lucky in getting the earlier train, so we don't wait. Just so excited to eat my chips. I also got a hot chocolate, which I never usually get from McDonald's, but it's just like really cold, so. Okay, update. Thought this was a good idea. Turns out it's not even nice. Like, I thought McDonald's hot chocolate was gonna be like, you know, a good hot chocolate where they probably made it with like milk, but like, this is just water with chocolate in it. It's not the one, guys. It's nice to like keep you warm, but it just tastes like drinking of a kettle with like a bit of chocolate in it. But anyway, we're on the way back to Beverly now. Yeah, I need to drive home because I drove to the station and met my mum there, but my mum got dropped off, so I'm gonna be driving. Be scared. She said, yeah, I had a drink. I had half a champagne and then realised I'm driving but that was also two hours ago and we have eaten so know your limits. Okay so we are now back. I'm really proud of how this lipstick has held up. I put this on this morning and all I've done is reapply the middle and it's now quarter to eight. I put this on at half past ten like yeah this is the Giorgio Armani. It's this tiny little sample because I can't be bothered to buy the real one. It's in the shade, oh my god, that's so tiny. I can't even read it, like lip magnet, I think? I don't know. Um, it's also, underneath, the original layer is one by MUA. Um, they don't sell it anymore. I bought it ages ago, absolutely years ago, and I've never found a better matte red lipstick than that until I got this. I've been using this to reapply, but I used the MUA one to start off with, so... Yeah. Anyway, I thought I would just show you what I got from Debenhams because they kind of gave me and my mum a little gift bag. Uh, well, actually two little gift bags with like loads and loads of little testers in. So most of these are fragrance testers, uh, like different perfumes. So I've got a couple by YSL, Dior, um, Lancome, Hugo Boss. These ones are going to be for Harry and Tom. My dad's already taken one. Um, and then I also got a couple of makeup bits. So I got this blusher palette from Lancome, which I think just looks so, so pretty. It's like a really nice pink shade. Uh, I don't really wear blusher, so I might give this to my mum. Um, but yeah, that's really nice. It's a full-size product as well. Then I got this eyeliner, the Urban Decay Perversion Eyeliner, which is a mini one. Oh, is it? Actually, no, I think that might be full-size too. I'm not too sure. Uh, and then I got a tiny little Perversion Mascara by Urban Decay. That's so small, but I love that mascara. And then I also got this little lip gloss from Lancome, which is Gloss in Love in the shade 144. So yeah, there you go. But yeah, I thought I would take this time to do today's giveaway, actually. So the winner of yesterday's giveaway for me which was two days ago for you is Daisy Finn I'm gonna put the comment on screen here thank you so much for watching my videos and entering my giveaway I'm gonna be contacting you very very soon so stay tuned for that okay I haven't taken my denim jacket off yet just because um, it's really cold so today's giveaway I've moved into the other room where all of the stuff that I'm giving away is is this Ted Baker body moisturizer I used to use one of these all of the time and I remembered how much I loved it so I thought I'll get one of these because boots sell them at Christmas time and they're just a classic so it's this gorgeous Ted Baker body souffle I'm so sorry if you can hear Harry screaming yeah it's a body souffle I'm not too sure what that actually is but this is one of those um, and then also this really cool radiance ring light which you actually attach to your phone so basically this light by radiance ring now they have sent me one of these out to keep and test but they are also going to be sending one to one of you guys so uh, basically if you haven't seen these before they're little lights and you just click them once twice or three times so I'm just going to do it once so I don't blind you and then you pop it on your phone and it just sits on the top of your phone like this so if you're ever in those situations where you want to take a selfie maybe you're with your friends or something and you can't take it or like you can't get a good one because there's no good lighting this makes the good lighting the selfies with this 10 out of 10 so if if you were wanting to get your hands on one of these, all you have to do is enter today's giveaway um, and you'll be in with a chance of winning both products. But also, if you want to get your hands on one of these anyway, not in the giveaway, I'm going to leave a link in the description as to where you can buy one because I really like them. I use them quite a lot. In fact, I used to use one on top of my vlogging camera all the time because the lighting on my camera used to be a bit funny um, before I changed camera. So yeah, I thought I'd just chat to you a bit about this because they have kindly sent me one to try. So thank you very much for doing that. And they're also going to let one of you guys win one of these as well. So yeah, as always to enter, all you have to do is be subscribed, give the video a huge thumbs up and comment your twitter or instagram at in the comments below okay i have now come up to bed uh well no not to bed to get ready for bed because uh i'm a celebrity is about to come on so i'm gonna get my pajamas on and then i'm gonna start editing this while i'm a celebs on and then i have a couple of bits i need to prep for tomorrow because um i think i have an essay tomorrow in english but i'm like not really too sure what it's on so i need to like prep that so yeah got all of that okay guys i'm gonna end my vlog here i'm just on facetime to tom so i could just see him like down there i was scared i hadn't muted myself because i sound ridiculous talking to myself but i'm gonna end this vlog here if you haven't 
given it a thumbs up and subscribed yet please go and do that i really enjoyed filming today it was really nice to get to go to the debenhams event after school that was really nice to do something a bit different so i hope you enjoyed watching that as well as entering my giveaway don't forget to head on over to qt to enter my question it is linked in the description and it would really mean the world to me if you could like help me out on there a little bit because that would be fab and yeah i will see you in tomorrow's vlogmas so bye <laughs>